of the 11th cell group gathered at Corrymeela today lead this from the Cree worship, remembering the 1425th anniversary of the death of St. Columba. We pray with St. Columba of Iona. We light this candle because Christ is the light no darkness can extinguish. In the name of the Sending Father, in the name of the Son of the Call, in the name of the Dove descending, in the name of the One in All. Amen. Amen. We open ourselves to the presence of the Lord. If we come in certainty or confusion, in anger or in anguish, this time, this time is, is for, for us. us. If we come in silent suffering or hidden sorrow, in pain or promise, this, this time, time is, is for us. us. If you come for your own or another's need, for a private wound, or the wounds of the world. This, this time is for us. If you come and do not know why, to be here is enough. This, this time is for us. Come now, Christ of the forgiving warmth. Come now, Christ of the yearning tears. Come now, Christ of the transforming touch. This, this time is for you. Amen. We are reminded of words of scripture. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 16, Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. In the first letter of John, chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. If anyone obeys his word, the love of God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know that we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Columba, who is also known as Colum Keel, was born near Loch Garden, now in North Donegal, on the 7th of December 1521. He died aged 75 on the island of Iona, 1425 years ago, on the 9th of June, and the year was 597. Columbus studied under the leading Christian scholars in Ireland, becoming a monk and eventually being ordained a priest. Reputedly following a quarrel, he travelled from Ireland to Iona, full of grief and remorse, looking for resurrection. His ministry was blessed, and at one time there were over 1,000 monks on Iona who spread the Christian faith, not only throughout these islands, but to places as far apart as Iceland and Italy. It was from Iona that Aidan would be sent to Lindisfarne to become the apostle to the English Inspired by the life and disciplines of Columba, his mission would have an immeasurable effect, not just on the people of England, but on the English-speaking world. The life of Columba demonstrates that from tragedy, God can bring great blessing. Once repentance and true devotion are recognised as the keys of the future. Columba was well known for isolating himself for long periods of time to pray. His prophetic ministry and angelic encounters came through his prolonged and regular practice of withdrawing from the busy life of the monastery and mission work to engage in prayer, a time of dwelling with the divine. These extraordinary times in which we live give us the space and freedom to follow the example of St. Columba, to deepen our times of stillness with God and increase our ability to hear God's voice. Let us embrace the opportunity that's before us, in the words of Thomas Merton, to immerse in rivers of tranquility which flow from God, 
and to the whole universe draw all things back to God. Columbus' faith was firmly rooted in the Lord Jesus and the knowledge that Easter Sunday always follows Good Friday. Out of adversity, opportunity. Out of tragedy, blessing. Amen. Amen. A prayer from St. Columba. Be, O God, a guiding star above us, a smooth path below us, a kindly shepherd behind us, and a bright flame before us, today, tonight, and forever. Amen. Amen. Our prayers. When the world tells us that we are what we do with our activity, our acumen, or achievement, May we turn around and learn. We, we are, are what we do with our silence. When the world tells us that we are what we do with our spending power, selling power, or our power of speech, may we turn around and learn. We, we are, are what, what we, we do with our silence. When the world tells us to drown the silent suffering of others with indifference or noise or to forget the art of stillness in the storm, may we turn around and learn. We are what we do with our silence. When the world tells us to rush in where angels fear to tread, may we turn around and learn that angels listen first before they take a step for the small, still small voice of God in the silence. Amen. A circle prayer for the world. Circle, O oh God, all those who work to protect and heal others. We name before you those uppermost in our thoughts at this time. Keep health, health within. within. Keep sickness out, keep strength within, keep weariness out. Circle, O oh God, all those who are feeling isolated and lonely. Help us to help them know that they are not forgotten. Keep peace within, keep turmoil out, keep light within. Keep darkness sight. Circle, O oh God, all those who suffer the effects of conflict, famine, disease, and homelessness. We name before you the people and places we carry on our hearts. Keep, keep hope within, keep, keep despair out, keep light within. Keep the darkness sight. Circle, O oh God, all those who work for peace. Encircle them with your presence. Keep, keep wisdom within. Keep falling out. Keep light within. Keep the darkness sight. Circle, O oh God, those known to us who are in need of your healing today. We remember those who have died and those who mourn them. May they know your love and presence. Help them to see your light in the darkness. Lord, make us a channel of your blessing so that we, like St. Columba, may play our part in bringing your light into the world and your healing and peace to those in need. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And now the blessing. May the faith of Columba be ours, in our watching and in our waiting. May the peace of Columba be ours, in our going and in our returning. May angels watch over us through our waking and our sleeping. May the God of Columba shield us and those we love and pray for. Listen to me and do not ignore me My heart, it is troubled and I am distraught The words that have hurt me, they cut like a knife Oh, I'm filled with sorrow, there is no way Wicked will fade, but you'll not be.